Welcome back to Arkham Reactor. So, last song we did, Find Myself, and that was a, just a kind of emotional roller coaster, and it was an absolutely beautiful song, full of emotion, exactly kind of what you were expecting from this album, because if you read it on to the lyrics, and you just read the lyrics, sit down and read them, then you're good, then you've really got a kind of personal album on your hands here. Some songs, Got to admit it, we've done, I think it's four or five songs now, we're on seven, so we've actually done five because I missed Alone again because I just went alone, uh, went ahead and listened to it, and intro, I've already had a wee listen to that as well. So, out of the five songs we've done so far, I have only kind of disliked one, and that was Never Gonna Learn, it just wasn't my cup of tea, and... I explained in that, re in, the, in that video why it was not my cup of tea. However, the rest of them have been exactly kind of what I was looking for, kind of what I expected in a way, but with some um, kind of surprising bits in them. And find myself, I just think, at the moment, is the top song of the album. Um, it's just deep, personal, and for all of you, it would be... Depends on what kind of mood you're in, it's rather going to be a song that will rather make you happy, like maybe you have found yourself or something along them lines, or kind of puts you in like a, an emotional roller coaster, kind of what that song does to I think everyone who's heard it just now just thinks it's absolutely beautiful. So, we're on the song, you've made it this far, and we have made it this far, but five songs in, well, technically seven because I've heard the other two. Um, so we're going to stop here today after this song, we're going to stop here today, and on Monday we'll resume and finish off the rest of the album. So, I'm not going to speak anymore, let's just get into it.
Can I pause there, right? This song kind of summer tempo to never gonna learn, right? So a similar kind of similar feel, but doesn't sound the same at all. And this one, this one's kind of in in a way a lot a lot kind of lyrical kind of style, but not as deep as find myself. Though by this tempo and with the with the lyrics and the vocals and just the overall feel of this one, I get it. I get it, and I actually do like it. It's slow, melodic, and the voc Dan Danny's vocals. I've said it a few times, and um, I've, pr I've pretty much said it in every video. His vocals are just fantastic, and but this one as well, this seems like it's. If Danny isn't screaming, Danny's doing something like this, right? Like um, so um, I think it's called. Even though I'm on my. I think it's called Someone Somewhere, something like that. That can that song, you know what I'm on about. I can't remember the song title, but I could probably sing the whole song to be honest. Um, and that's the kind. If he's not doing screaming, or if he's not doing like hard, like um, alone in a room under Denver or something like that, this is something that I can. Uh, but he's he's got a softer kind of tone to his voice as well. This is kind of what I'm looking for, or I kind of expect in a way. That he's doing, um, and obviously Ben and the rest of the boys are just behind him, like doing what they do because they're extremely talented uh, musicians. And the song, this one, is just it's kind of blowing me away. It's it's not anything. It's not alone again, or it's not find myself, but it's it's just diff. It's different from different kind of personally. Don't I don't know exactly how to explain it, but. It's definitely kind of feel wise and tempo wise. I'm a lot more like that we're gonna learn, maybe a little bit softer, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's just I really don't know what to say on it, except from I am enjoying it, and it's it's, it's I'm just gonna go back and bust in the rest. Let's go. I really enjoyed that one. I was trying to think about what to say, but this is really not a lot, but except from lyrics wise, emotion uh, it's emotional. You can definitely get that from it. Um I don't even think you could question that. Te it's just a fantastic song at the end of the day, and that's all I can really say. 
Um, lyrics, lyrics wise, emotional, vocal wise, pretty much perfection. Um, the instruments, drums, guitars, bass, exactly on point. And with this one, and I think with the rest of the album, it's more. I think I've I read upon it, and I think I. It's the first one they've rather been sober, or the first one they've kind of been off any sort of kind of substances. And. But when you're in that kind of frame of mind, in a sense, you could. You, you have the mobility and ability to write more kind of personal songs rather for you or say the fan base that you're writing for and with this one you've made it this far I think they've absolutely nailed it on the head there's with this one again I think with Find Myself I don't think I could see anything wrong with it I think it was an overall like fantastic and beautiful song I think the same one with this one a song the same lines even though they're sober kind of songs and they eventually build up and when obviously when Dan when Danny belts and he did with this when he belted a few long notes, it just shows the raw capability that the that him and the rest of the band have. For some people they might like the older stuff, right? Um so the Stand Up and Scream album, uh, Reckless and Relentless, um The Black, um and kind of the more kind of metalcore songs with that one and some of them might have found them since people might have preferred more of the self-titled and this album and the previous album which was i think it was like a house on fire so it depends on what kind of side that you're on maybe you're one that has followed them through from the beginning to the end and you're still enjoying what they do bands change people change music change look what's happened to some uh, another band that done music exactly like what they did at the beginning, Black View Brides. Kind of you kind of compare, you kind of put the two bands in the same bracket. They went from kind of at the beginning what Masking X Aranger had done to the bands that and they've actually toured together that were doing kind of metalcore, kind of screaming music as probably the teens in my days called it was screamo, which was kind of just metalcore um, and then they've came to rather Black Veil Brides are on a kind of hard rock type of side nowadays see my asking Alexandria they're just doing what they think they want to do and if this is the type of music that they're going to provide then I can't disagree with it the only kind of song that I can disagree with personally is just never going to learn but that's just one that isn't my cup of tea but the rest of them have been uh, Faded Out was good, right? Faded Out was good, right? Alone Again was absolutely amazing. If I could erase it, I think it was pretty darn good as well. Um, Find Myself and You've Made It This Far. They've just been on a different level. Maybe not as hard, but on a different level, kind of emotional-wise. And just thinking from what they've done from again to what they're doing now, it's a more kind of personal album. You kind of need to take that into consideration as well when you're listening to it. Um, because you've got the lyrics right in your ears and if you're like what we do, um, reacting to music, you should sometimes have rather the lyrics up or just kind of a read the lyrics before you go into it just to see what you're kind of expected to, to get. And then it's the, the main theme of the song and things like that that carry you on forward. But I've got to say it, folks. You made it this far as an absolute tune. Emotional, hits you hard. It's not aven- It's not considered hard music, but there's a few songs in the album that have been hard, and there's a few songs that might be a little bit slower. That's a kind of generalisation of hard rock, rock music, or maybe sometimes like metal. You get different kind of themes throughout the songs and things like that. And with this one, I just can't see anything wrong with it at all. So it's another one that's kind of stumped me that I'm thinking maybe going into this one hard rock might not be as good as I thought it was going to be but there's been a few ones that are like oh that kind of hits you differently than what you were going to expect and alone again you've made it this far and find myself I've definitely done that Um, definitely kind of surprised and touched you in a different way and then with the other ones they were 
they were they were good or I didn't like them but as as I mentioned during the first video or the last few that I'm going to be brutally honest um if it's this is on this channel it's going to be the first album that we've covered from start to finish in a few days and I'm just going to be brutally honest with you this one was an absolute this one was an absolute banger if you're British which the majority of the members from Mask Alexandria are then you get what banger means but if you don't it's an absolute great song or something along them lines but by come by Monday or Tuesday next week so today's Friday by Monday or Tuesday next week we'll have finished the album and you'll get the at the end on the final song I think we might just do an overall conclusion of the album what songs we liked what songs I didn't like and the kind of in between songs that rather they're, they need to be listened to again or um, they're just not for you but I think with this album compared to the last one which I wasn't a particular fan of there's a few songs in there that I liked and some of the ones that I could rather just skip if and listen to like a whole Asking Alexandria playlist I think this one's going to rather touch people a little bit differently there's going to be a f there's going to be a few ones that could rather make you tear up or just really get inside your head um, this song did and um, I find myself get inside your head but I don't I think after a few times you can kind of get the overall gist of it but anyway folks make sure you like, subscribe, comment give us a thought, just give us a wee comment on what you thought about this song because um, I'm on the mind of I really do like it and we do have some links, our own personal links in the description as well if you want to check them out. This song will be in the original description as well. So until Monday or Tuesday, see you then.